Well, Lenny Lawrence in his first season as manager is without the injured Mark Proctor and Willie Faulkner in midfield. So at number eight, there's a big chance for 17-year-old local boy Jamie Pollock. Player manager Peter Reid passed himself fit to join McMahon in the City midfield. And the man in form up front is number seven, David White, who's scored seven goals in the last seven games. On by Niall Quinn. Oh, and here's White with a great chance for City. And the ball ran away from him. Well, that was an opportunity in the first attack for Manchester City for David White. McMahon to point him. Number 11, Hughes. Three in the middle for City. Here's Quinn. Niall Quinn. Well, he got that chance because Alan Kernigan slipped as the ball came over. Andy Peak, number 10 for Middlesbrough. Long ball for Wilkinson. Header was by Redmond, but it wasn't a good one. And Middlesbrough had players backing up there. And this is Bernie Slaven with a great chance. And it's still Slaven. And still Slaven. And he didn't quite have the presence of mind at the end to try the far post chip. He went for goal. But it was a good effort. McMahon in on peak. This is White. Quinn coming in from the far side. White shot. And Quinn nearly turned it into a cross from David White. Here's White. Poynton's cross. Oh, here's Niall Quinn and Peter Reid. The player manager has given his side the lead and shows again that if midfield players will get into the penalty area, there's always a chance that you might get a goal. Really good backing up there of the attack by Peter Reid. But Niall Quinn, with his height, again, gave Middlesbrough a problem they couldn't handle. The ball comes over Kernigan, Quinn brings it down, and Reid just waits for the defender to slip, and then pushes the ball comfortably past Steve Pears. Forward by Curl. Oh, and here's Ripley. And still Ripley. There was obviously a deflection on that. It's a corner. Keith Curl did well to get anywhere near him after initially being the player who was hesitating. Wilkinson's up for it. And it's still losing a jab shot there. Oh, and in comes Ripley. And the City players are furious because the flag was up and the referee is standing still by the six-yard box and the celebrations were cut short almost before Ripley had time to run away with his arms up. Quinn. That's a good turn by Niall Quinn and Steve Pears flying across his goal. The corner's been given, so it needed the save. Reed. Oh, and here's a chance for White, and he's missed it. Phillips. Ripley is onside, if he can get it down. It's going to be a corner. Moen and Wilkinson just behind him. White. Kernigan, no, Wilkinson, oh, he's put it over the top from very close in and Paul Wilkinson's expression suggests that was Middlesbrough's best opening Heath Megson goes through the middle but Quinn is even better placed and here they are Quinn Megson Parkinson oh. well I imagine that Quinn and Megson between them should have done better there this is Parkinson now just caught Hughes here comes Payton now here's a chance a corner to Middlesbrough crowd really getting behind them now <laughs> Kernigan's there oh it's an equaliser it's Kernigan and Borough have done it it's the skipper well corners always look to be their best chance and with about 11 minutes to go, Jimmy Phillips curls it into the near post with his left foot and Kernigan got there first and makes it 
forward by Pollock and can Payton do it now for Middlesbrough oh Wilkinson it's there they've done it again it's Paul Wilkinson two of the minute unbelievable stuff they turn this cup tie round on its head and they're delighted Harrison Park goes mad you wouldn't have believed it possible a couple of minutes ago but now Middlesbrough, the second division side, lead 2-1 and Peyton number 12 did the chasing, got the better of Keith Curl, whose header put the ball into Wilkinson's path and with the outside of his right foot, he makes it 2-1. Forward by Curl. Quinn is in there, so is Redmond. Here's White! Well, that was his best effort yet, but it wasn't close enough for City. Peyton, oh, he's away from Redmond. He's got Wilkinson backing up here. Oh, and a chance on the far side. Hit the post. It was Ripley, and he can't believe it. Quinn, this is White. Well, that just about sums up David White's day. And there goes Wilkinson, he's got away from points and Curl's coming across and Wilkinson puts the ball possibly in the second best place for Middlesbrough. The referee has checked with both his linesmen that time is up. And cup glory comes to Teesside and second division Middlesbrough. They've come from behind in unlikely circumstances to defeat Manchester City of the First Division with two goals in two minutes. City have come here and lost a cup match by two goals to one.